All right, let's talk a little bit more about Frazetta. The year is 1950, 51, might even be 1949. Frank Frazetta is sitting at the kitchen table and he's talking to his good friend Roy Crankle. And I don't know what they were talking about. Uh, Roy didn't remember what they were talking about. Frank didn't remember what they were talking about. But while they were talking, Frank took a sketch pad, simple brown paper sketch pad, very cheap, and he started drawing. And he started drawing this particular illustration. It's called Windblown, and it's a picture of a woman on a very windy mountaintop. And Frazetta was just doing this out of his imagination for no reason, just drawing it for the sheer pleasure of drawing itself. And what did he end up with here? Well, an amazing piece of art, especially for this time period. What we have here is a deep look inside of Frazetta's soul, a deep look inside of how he considers the female. This is the essence of the female, according to Frank. What do you have? You have power. You have energy. You have an explosive body. You have all the elements of nature gathering themselves together around this explosive body, this tremendous female energy that most women do have. The clouds are there. The sun is about to break through. Uh, Frazetta doesn't draw leaves. He draws little symbols for leaves. He almost reminds you of Van Gogh in this regard. He's using little, little uh, short expressions to suggest leaves. The same thing with the grasses in the front and the mountaintop. Everything is blended together. Everything is harmonized. Once again, it's giant energy. He's painting the weather. He's painting the storm of the soul of a female and how powerful she can be. Once again, what does Frank do? Another little virtuoso touch. Her face is hidden. For a female, most of the time, to a male, we're constantly amazed. We're constantly in a state of mystery. What are women all about? What do they want? What do they say? How do we understand them? Their real essence, their real core is hidden from us. What Frank is telling us, what we know is the incredible energy that women have and the tremendous bodies that they present and how irresistible they are to us. I mean, what an amazing piece of art to be drawn at a kitchen table while he's having a casual conversation, coming directly out of his imagination. What does that tell you about Frank? Well, first of all, nobody else can do something like this. And I recall, once again, a professor in graduate school, a very famous man by the name of Marshall McLuhan. Marshall McLuhan ran the Institute for Cultural Studies at the University of Toronto. He was extremely world famous, so famous in fact that Woody Allen put him in as a guest role in Annie Hall. So I had him for a course in, uh, I think it was cultural symbolism. We were talking about symbols that go through culture. And during the course of one of these seminars, we were talking, and he said to me personally as an answer to a question, he said, David, remember this. He said, at some point in your life, you're going to come across truth. When you see it, bow down in front of it, embrace it, accept it, enjoy it, understand it. Don't be skeptical, don't be cynical, don't try to reject it. When the truth is there, you're going to know it. The evidence of truth will strike you like a hammer in your soul. And I never forgot that. And that's what Frazetta provides us with, the truth. The truth of a man uncovering art directly out of his imagination, flowing all of these images, all of these ideas directly out of his soul. Yes, he did do photo reference when he was working on a few EC stories. He did use a little photo reference when he was working on some of his men's magazine illustrations. Yes, he did use photo reference when he was working on his movie poster art. That's 5% of his output. The real Frazetta works directly out of his imagination. I love Norman Rockwell, but Norman Rockwell is the flip side of the coin. If you go to the Rockwell Museum in Stockbridge, the first thing you'll notice is the tremendous amount of industry that Norman Rockwell put into his paintings. All sorts of studies, all sorts of reference, one item after another, 
Three to four hundred items of reference might have gone into the production of one of his photorealistic paintings. They have a tremendous impact. They're beautiful. They're, they're, they're amazing. But they're really great because of the ideas that we want to believe in with respect to America and American culture. Frazetta could not work like that. Frazetta works intuitively. He works instinctively. Uh, I've watched him draw. I've watched him paint. Other people have done the same thing. Russ Cochran, Arnie Fenner, Angelo Torres, Al Williamson. They all saw Williamson pulling all these things out of his imagination. Saw Frank pulling these things out of his imagination. So don't disparage the man if you come across a photo that, that leads you to say, oh my God, he was lying. He did all this stuff from photo reference. He's just like all the other artists. No. There are people out there who are simply different. They're better. They're gifted. I read an article about a month ago about a guy. He memorized 3,000 books. He was on a lot of television shows. He had that ability to memorize 3,000 books. Could any of you do it? No, you could not. I could not do it. That person unlocked part of his human potential. He was able to do it. Another person they wrote about in this article, they were talking about supermen that live among us. You could throw a grain of rice at this man, and he could split that grain of rice with a samurai blade. He was able to calculate the toss, the speed, the angle, and the way he was going to cut with the blade, and cut that piece of rice right in half. Once again, it's not an ability any of us have. One more example. Another man with a complete photographic memory. They brought him up in a helicopter. They had him quickly just scan over the entire island of Manhattan. They brought him back, they locked him in a room, they gave him a piece of paper. He sat down and he drew the entire island, building for building, street for street, with complete accuracy. Now many people would doubt that that is even possible. It is possible. Frank is one of those types of individuals. He has that type of rare gift. When you see that kind of rare gift, bow down in front of it, embrace it, love it, and just accept it for what it is. That's what I like about Frank Frazetta. Thanks a lot. This piece is extraordinary.